Hello, myself Kostov. I am a postdoctoral associate at NYU Abu Dhabi. So let me tell you uh, a story of my PhD journey on a perspective on music similarity. So the question I ask is how different is different? So let's get to the title first. So how different is different? In terms of music similarity, uh, humans has the potential of categorizing similar phrases or similar music. So our question is can machine understand the same? And the broad perspectives here are mainly four. The acoustic signal that we expertise in as signal processing engineers. Also, we take care of psychoacoustics or the perception, how is the representation within the ear. Then neuropsychology, that's the cognition or what is the meaning out of that sound. And finally comes musicology, like recognizing the concept and mapping it to some pre-stored memory. So broadly saying, uh, we can say it's a modeling and perception of melodic motifs. And we'll be doing the case study on Indian art music or more specifically North Indian Hindustani vocal music. So let me give you an analogy in vision. So in computer vision, if you ask anyone, how are these images similar? So the answer is these are all images of birds. But from a machine perspective, uh, the background, foreground, edges, everything is different. So it has to have a higher level meaning. So how human can focus on the main theme, the machine has to understand that. And that's our goal in the audio domain. So the broad paradigm we work in is called music information retrieval. And this means organizing and make sense of music data. May it be audio, metadata, lyrics, biography, anything. So we do in audio analysis domain. And here is the example. How do you visualize melody? So let's listen to this. So as you can see, these lines, this is called a pitch contour or pitch versus time, how the melody progresses in time. This is a computational feature. And as you can see, there are specific patterns and we have to understand how that pattern and what that means. So the task at hand is something like this. So for example, I give you a given melody. And it's improvised form. So this is the broad task at hand. So how do you tackle that? So melody analysis in MIR is not an easy process. It's not from audio to the concept directly, but it's an analysis by synthesis method. So first you have to extract low level features and then synthesize the model to get to the higher level. But what are the computational features? So from the previous example, so you can see these are the pitch contours as I showed. And so this is the distributional representation where we take all the pitch values and just concatenate them in a distributional sense and not taking temporal dimension at all. And the other one is the pattern or the structural, how the melody evolves in time. And we do a bunch of feature extractions. But before that, as it's a machine learning model, we have to have a good amount of data. So we create and curate a corpus by eminent Hindustani vocalists and then extract a bunch of distributional representations and structural representations. All the papers are cited, so you can go to there to refer to the detailed methods. And then a bunch of statistical modeling, and not only that, some perceptual experiments, because we want our model to be coherent to human perception and cognition. So what's the outcome? So this is an outcome which consolidates all the findings from the thesis, and it's a Raga recognition system. It's online, it's a lightweight. So let's go for a demo. So here I am singing a melody and we can see the pitch is extracted on real time. There is this transcription of the melody and also it says the likelihood of the rock, like which is the most probable rock. So this is kind of the ultimate aim for this music similarity in Hindustani music that we conceived. So I'd like to conclude by an anecdote from a TED talk by Uri that from some point A we wanted to go to task B or achieve a task B but in between we took a digression and it was cloudy but finally we got something more interesting, more insightful. So I end with an open question, 
that how close are we in modeling human judgment of melodic similarity? Can machine understand the same way as humans do? So here are some selected references. I'd like to acknowledge uh, IIT Bombay and the Comp Music Project for generous funding. Thank you. That's all.